pioneer and the leader of our relationship. And owing to his efforts, our cooperation became so wide and fruitful. It is a period of 23 years of his life that was invested into everyday work to achieve the results that uh, were shown in the speech of our Vice Rector, Rector Vyacheslav. So, Fruda, the floor is yours. Your Royal Highness and friends of cooperation between Norway and Russia, I am very happy that you, Crown Prince Wolfgang, could visit BSTU, Baltic State Technical University, and also the projects that BSTU uh, has developed together with the Holy Graduate School of Business at the University of New York. This is a special uh, project, and as the chair woman said, I have invested 23 years of my life in this, and it's a good investment. Because this project has spread all around Russia. We have today cooperation not only in St. Petersburg, but in Murmansk, in Arkhangelsk, in Moscow, in Chimen, in Ukta. And if you are adding all the students who have been involved in one or another way, it was mentioned by the Rector 2000, but I'm a professor of accounting, and there are more than 2,500 involved. So it means that if you're going around in Russia, and also in Norway, you have a good chance to meet a candidate that has, in one or another way, been involved in this project. Some of them only in smaller uh, courses, uh, but uh, training courses, but some of them in master and PhD and postdoc uh, projects. When I was a student in the 70s, I studied economic history. And some of the courses were in uh, the economic history of Eastern Europe. And I had also the luck and the privilege of having the well-known professor Tudolf Erftu as my supervisor. And he was very engaged in openness and in democracy building and in the ability education gives to each individual to make their own choices. He taught me much about Eastern Europe, which at that time lacked openness. And he talked very often about Russia and about St. Petersburg, the beauty of the city. Therefore, when I was a dean at Holy Graduate School of Business in 1990, and was asked by the governor of Moron at that time if it may be of interest for me to visit St. Petersburg and discuss with professors here in the, in the city of St. Petersburg whether they need some kind of support to develop programs in business administration. It was very easy for me to say yes. And I will say that Moulin County, that already in 1987 made an agreement with Leningrad Oblast, they have been some kind of a, 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 a guide for us because they found new models of uh, working together with Russian government institutions to develop democracy and to also open for business opportunities. St. Petersburg is often referred to as the intellectual capital of Russia. The people I met when I came to Russia and to St. Petersburg in 1991 really symbolized this that students were clever and engaged, and that professors were very analytically, uh, they had an analytical approach, and they were very eager to find models in which we could work together. At that time, education programs in business administration and man management were scarce in Russia. So we started to discuss how could we do this, and though management education was scarce, we know that in Russia they are very good in the field of technology. And from Prince Wolfgang, where you are right now, one of the most excellent universities in the field of technology is located. This area in St. Petersburg has the name, the place of technology. So therefore, when we sat down, we from Buda and they from St. Petersburg, we immediately decided that we had to do this in a way that we benefited from each other and that we built on what was the 
best competence, the strengths of each institution. So therefore, the program became a, a combination of business competence from Norway and engineering competence from Russia. Today, we are running many education and research projects, not at least in the field of energy and sustainable management. I am now the director of the Heinrich Center at the Graduate School of Business at the University of Nuland, and with all the opportunities that are in the high north for value creations, both for Russia and for Norway, a fruitful future seems to lie ahead for our cooperation. Especially if we build on the values that have been following our cooperation through all these years. The importance of openness and education, as stressed by Professor Rafto, and the creativity value and frontier value that Nolan County has shown us. And also the analytical and academic values that are the core of the Russian universities, and maybe not at least the value of close cooperation with practice, with companies and government institutions that are the, 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 the way a business school is doing things. Crown Prince Hocum, it is an inspiration for us that you are coming visiting us. And you yourself have been studying at several universities, both in Norway and abroad. <coughs> Therefore, you may agree with me that high quality in education and the students and also the professor's curiosity are the keys to success. Thank you for coming. <laughs>